proclamation, and I'm going to get through it, and we're going to get on with the show. And this is, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read it in the mayor's voice, just uh, you know, picture the mayor reading it. Whereas Sarah Farrell, who was raised in Charleston, West Virginia, and spent her childhood and adolescence in the Mountain State, is a gifted and versatile musician whose unique blend of country, bluegrass, folk, jazz, Americana, and gypsy swing has captivated audiences across the nation and around the world, transcending genres and uniting listeners with her powerful voice and soulful performances. And whereas, with lyrics that embody breathtakingly intricate poetry, Sierra Farrell's music captures the nostalgia of the past while pushing boundaries and infusing fresh, innovative energy, establishing her as a leading voice in modern music. And whereas, through her talent, artistry, and authenticity, Sierra Farrell has inspired countless fans, enriching the cultural landscape and bringing joy to people from all walks of life. And whereas, <laughs> demonstrating her unwavering commitment to her craft, Sierra Farrell continues to tour extensively and share her gift with diverse audiences, performing locally at Live on the Levee in 2021 and now at the Clay Center becoming a symbol of resilience, passion, and dedication. And whereas Sierra Farrell's contributions to the arts have helped shape contemporary music by blending timeless traditions with modern influences, enriching the cultural fabric and inspiring both musicians and audiences alike. Now, therefore, I, Amy Schubert Goodwin, Mayor of Charleston, West Virginia, do hereby recognize September 28, 2024, as Sierra Farrell Day.
song. It's an old time fiddle song. And, um, that's kind of where I love to live <laughs> in an old time fiddle jam. But uh, you know, we just left IBMAs. It's a what a beautiful community there is. A lot of bluegrass music going on. A lot of banjos. <laughs> Uh, there's also a lot of guitars, mandolins, upright bass, and um, so anyways, this song I'm going to do is Chitla Cooking Time in Chilo County. And um, it takes place in uh, Tennessee, and uh, also let's send out some prayers to what's going on out there. There's a lot of stuff going on with uh, Tennessee and Asheville right now. Um, And I feel like this song uh, has a lot of uh, meaning to it, and I think that you should kind of look into it, like, like what are chickens, you know, like, people probably don't know what chickens are. Right? 